Problem Statement A fire in a private factory causes the death of 58 persons. You work in a human rights organization. You are asked to prepare a brief note on the incident for sharing amongst your colleagues. What are the aspects you will look into while preparing the report? Problem Statement Patients at a healthcare centre complain that doctors are never present at the primary healthcare centre. Your organisation has asked you to conduct an initial fact-finding. How will you proceed? In this lesson, we discuss some examples illustrating the method of examining cases from a human rights perspective. Do note, these were illustrations only. In the real world, a problem may have many more dimensions. In real life situations, you need to examine whether there is a gender dimension to the issue, whether there are aspects of discrimination involved, and so on. Also note that we cannot assume that every issue involves human rights violations. Remember, we discussed in the beginning that not all human beings think of the good of the society. Thus, there may be police officers or public health care professionals who are corrupt. The state cannot be held responsible for the actions of its corrupt officers. However, the state becomes responsible when there is failure on its part to take the required action against corrupt officers as such failure encourages corruption to continue and flourish. Thus we have to carefully ask questions to identify why a given case is an issue of human rights violation or in what manner the state has failed in its obligations. These questions are necessary as they also help in identifying targeted measures that need to be taken to address the violation.